Hello XDC family and welcome back to Crypto Ready. If you want to be ready for crypto then you are in the right place. Today I have got many huge updates for the XDC community. We will be talking about a huge update from the GTR event in Dubai and a potential date for major adoption of XDC this year. We will then finish off by talking about a massive update for Wadspay and ISO 20022 and there will be a lot more. So I hope you will watch to the end as today's video will be fire as usual. Looking at a tweet from Rodrigo Japa. In the very near future, XTC will bury ETH and you're still sitting on your couch just watching and doing nothing. You'll miss the horse passing in front of you again and you won't get on it. Now guys, it's clear that many people are not going to see XDC. Some people are just looking at the hype tokens that are marketed by the media like BTC, ETH, a few others, right? XDC is a sleeping giant and not everybody is going to be holding this sleeping giant because a lot of people are going to sell before it hits them 3-4 digits and many people won't even see it because a lot of people are stuck in this worldly life with the agendas that are brewing all the time. I don't think a lot of people understand crypto right now, especially with all the agendas to scare people away from crypto with no regulations, which is why they're going to bring in regulations right at the end. And I don't think they're going to worry about a certain amount of million people becoming millionaires because the whole population ain't going to see this and they have tried their best not to let that happen. So if you hold XTC, then you have been chosen my friends, you are going to persevere, you are going to be patient and you're going to have diamond hands. So please huddle strong, let's move on to the next bit. Looking at we from Darren Lewis Jr. XTC in May June English law will change. The Electronic Trade Documents Act 2023 will enable us to remove paper once and for all to create a cheaper, faster, simpler and more secure trading system. And this was quoted from Chris Southward from the ICC UK. And reading from this screen grab guys, just before we talk about this, the Electronic Trade Documents Bill was introduced in the UK's House of Lords on 12th of October. And the bill has now completed its second reading as part of an expedited procedure. Next, the bill will go to the House of Commons and ITFA are very confident that it will become law in early 2023. ITFA and the ICC UK worked closely with the Law Commission, a statutory independent body in the UK, to bring the bill to fruition. Now guys, we've talked about this many times before. I do honestly think that May June is going to be mega adoption time, at least the beginning of that mega adoption for XTC, because XTC is the only blockchain involved with this initiative, with ITFA, with DNI, R3 is already using XTC as the only settlement token. Doesn't matter how many people talk about other tokens being connected to R3, R3 only mentions XTC as their settlement token. So we are covered in every way guys, we're talking about trade and value and they are worth in the hundreds of trillions as years go down. Guys, so this is a huge opportunity once we digitize trade finance, that alone is going to give XTC that mega adoption and definitely take the XDC price to the moon guys because it's just a matter of time. These tokens which have utility, which have use cases are going to be the winners here because they are going to have a bull run never seen before. So unless you want to have that shock face guys, XDC at two cents, not financial advice. It's an amazing buying opportunity because once all these things that are happening right in front of us for trade, once they're all set and done guys, XDC will be hard to catch. So please pay attention, let's move on to the next bit. Looking at a tweet from Zinfin Indonesia. Something big is coming for XDC and they are retweeting a tweet from Sunil Senapati. And he says, we discussed risk distribution using tokens and smart contracts and how easy it is using XDC network. It was well received and guys, it wasn't just Sunil there, it was Andre Kosterman, we had HSBC, we had Atul, Impel, Yoda Plus Technology and all these boys were at the GTR event which is currently 
just gone over in Dubai. So guys, it was a big event. Once I get more video clips from that event, I'll be bringing them out to you. But as far as I know, guys, it was a huge success because XTC was the center of attention. Once again, guys, everything is built around XTC. And this event highlighted the fact how XDC, how its smart contracts platform, and how XDC being the most efficient blockchain in the world is gonna solve all these problems, all these crises, all these agendas, guys, in the world right now. This is gonna be the fourth industrial revolution, guys. So please pay attention, guys. Let's move on to the next bit. Looking at we from Claire. Today, my bank in Indonesia, Bank Mandiri, added the ability to send cross-border payments with instant settlement from IDR to USD plus other big currencies around the world directly from within my banking app, bypassing SWIFT completely. The process was absolutely seamless with the exchange rate being the same as the XE exchange rate with a low promotional fee and the funds were received from my Indonesian bank to my UK account within a minute. My app interface is shown here. So as you can see guys, it was the Forex transfer which is now available on this bank. Huge guys. But what we are trying to understand here guys is which blockchain is playing that key role here in making these transfers instantly available for this Indonesian bank. So we will continue with this thread guys because the answer is in the thread. This instantly settled cross-border payment is the first I have ever made and it's perhaps the first of its kind in the banking sector. And yes guys, perhaps this is the first one because all the banks are looking at instant settlement options right now using DLT, using blockchain. And I think this is the first time I've seen a bank showing a instant settlement transaction. So if anybody in my audience uses a bank and has these options available, please let me know in the comment section. It is completely out of my technical scope, but is there a way we can check the API of an app to see which blockchain this is running on? Aha, BSI is a subsidiary of Bank Mandiri. Anish at BSI HQ, in my mind, this pretty much confirms that Whatspay Chain is the processor behind my banking's new technology. And guys, looking at this tweet, you can clearly see here, Anish is with that team from BSI and they are part of this bank as well. So guys, it's looking huge and we already know that Whatspay gave us that green light that by the end of March, we are gonna have some huge things coming and this year is gonna be huge overall for Whatspay. And this definitely could be the possibility guys that this CBDC, this instance transaction settlement, which is what Whatspay is providing, this is beginning to take shape across the world. And I think this is just the beginning and it won't definitely just be Whatspay that's gonna be solving all the problems in the world because I don't think one blockchain can deal with all of the money overall because we're talking about quadrillions in the future guys okay so I think some of the coins that we focus on this channel on utility coins like XRP, XLM, XTC who are also working to help value movement to help trade movement are going to be working together to solve these problems and making everything instant digital seamless across the world guys but this is amazing guys this is massive because having a instant transfer is a dream for these institutions and for everybody who sends money to their loved ones because when you send money right now 10 percent fees and the money takes many hours to days it's not the right way and i think banks have had enough of it as well and they are shifting through this new technology and i think xdc wire impel with widespay it's a win-win for xdc either way so we will keep an eye guys but this is massive please pay attention let's move on to the next bit. looking at tweet from mnfe seems nigeria is prepping to become the first xdc compliant nation in africa let's look at this retweet guys nigeria's central bank in talks with blockchain platform r3 for cbdc revamp so as you see here r3 is mentioned here and you already know from watching my channel that r3 uses xdc as the only settlement token so yeah guys it's gonna happen we are gonna get most of the money moved to xdc as well and many of the country's cbdc's are definitely gonna be using the xdc ecosystem guys because it's definitely a win-win because we are the greenest the fastest the best blockchain out there there's no doubt about that we've compared xdc to ethereum and to other blockchains many times guys it is a clear winner so we will pay attention guys because cbdc's are becoming a reality all over the world and xdc will definitely play a huge role in it let's move on to the next bit looking at we from mr man 
The Bank of England is stating that by 2027, which is a mere four years away, that we can expect the cross-border payments to reach upwards of $250 trillion. Now guys, this is a massive number. Like I've said to you before, we are looking at at least a $22 trillion gap in trade finance, which is what XDC is achieving single-handedly once MLETR goes live, right? And then you've got this, which is another massive opportunity, a $250 trillion opportunity by 2027. And that's only going to get bigger, guys, okay? We are going to lead towards the quadrillions of dollars in the near future. Because with the use of Impel's technology being based on XDC, guys, it's going to happen, guys. We are going to move value as well because XDC is well placed in regulated environments and I think it's only a matter of time when everybody starts to pay attention to XDC because with all these technologies XDC is definitely the best one guys so I hope you're ready because we're talking about hundreds of trillions okay guys so please pay attention to XDC let's move on to the next bit looking at a tweet from Zanka the crypto bank that has licenses in several countries you've guessed it right guys we're talking about Globiance here and Globiance is working as a licensed financial institution in at least five countries right now. Switzerland, Australia, USA, Europe, and Peru. And they are working with local regulations in many other countries. Guys, it's just a matter of time when Globiance becomes that bank because I think, guys, these exchanges that are going to remain because many of them are going to go away because of regulations because not everybody is going to make it through, right? But once... Regulations come in and once everything's set and done, I think Globians and all these good exchanges that remain are going to be the banks as well. And the real banks, the big boys, are going to come in and play their role as well, guys. But Globians is definitely worth your time and attention because GBEX is a very low-priced token right now. So please pay attention, guys, and thank you for watching today. So that is it for today guys if you enjoyed the video you know what to do please hit that subscribe button please like this video and share this video with family and friends and let them know that crypto ready is the place for them to be if they want to be ready for crypto i shall see you on another video tomorrow take care